Okay. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> uh... There we go. Uh... Okay, so, um, we are about to progress some more in the main story. I don't actually know how much is left. This could potentially be the last Kingdom Come stream, uh, depending. I mean, there is, uh, actually, I'll take that back. It probably won't be, but, um, we're getting close to the end of the main story at the very least. <laughs> that was weird. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately, I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Yezhek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastards asking to see you. Me. Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. Okay. Um, why does that keep happening, and why does he keep teleporting around like a freaking wizard? Uh, fuck's sake, why are they spread out so far? Yeah. We're gonna have a little... Shut up. We're gonna have a little wash, because we're disgusting. Did that fix it? No, it made me load though. Are you serious? make sure to keep up uh, on top of that so we don't have to pay for repairs anymore not that it really matters we have so much money it's ridiculous but and we can go and get more but just be careful Damn. stay away from people if you can't ride a horse Ooh. Um. Upstairs, I guess. What are you doing here? Good day. I need the key to. Mm. So, so Radzik let him have his way in the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I were you. I wouldn't question Sir Radzig's orders. Just try not to mess it up. Thanks. See you later. Oh, okay. I gotta admit, the voice acting is awful. It's starting to get to me a bit. <laughs> Oh, same with all this fucking loading. On why? Ugh. This is this game is on an SSD. Yet I hear what it would be like on a normal hard drive.
Oh, for God's sake, what is going on? Uh. I may have to be somewhat careful with that if that if we fast travel somewhere and get stuck in loading so long that it like crashes or something. Shut up. Uh, do I have Savior Schnapp? Schnapp 5. Okay, that's not terrible. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. I can't see him. Of all people, you brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor, you're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Well, I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you, but not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. Oh, okay. So we... Um... We will not get... The monastery. I was kind of hoping, or I thought, that... There's this whole infiltrating the monastery thing, which I thought we skipped because we found them, but I guess we have to hit. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago, and they said they were heading for Sassau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Hmm. Can you get to the point? Yes, please. Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps, you're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. 
This Eric, you reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. I mean, that's... Oh. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I have no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. Okay. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. All right. Uh, go and talk to... Wait. Hey. Uh, talk to Sir Radzig? Before it goes nighttime and he goes to sleep. Um, the monastery is not too bad. There's a lot of books in there, if I remember correctly. And we do have a quest to steal a book from there. Um, Aren't you meant to be in the monastery? Oh, so, not the worst in the world, but we'll see. So, what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezek claimed. Got no business out here. And it's what worse than I about? thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. I understand. There's no messing around with the church. Quite. Especially when we're not sure which side it's on. Hmm. Do you think the church could be on Sigismund's side? <laughs> More likely on a side of their own. It depends what Sigismund has to offer them. But I know one thing for sure. No one will want to anger him. I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know. But he's recruiting armed men in Sassau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I, uh, I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. <laughs> I know I'm asking a lot of you. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezek went with me without resistance, because... My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But, if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. As he commands... Right, okay, they're not asking, like... <laughs> much is he fuck me no one else does anything <laughs> in this fucking game <laughs> we do we have to take care of literally everything sleep and save i want to go to privet slivets so we can see how much money we got in there and also the swordsmith is there too now so um I, it's, I can't imagine we're going to get anything special for it, but maybe he sells some more swords and stuff.
well, let's save now so we should have too many more troubles. Um, and we, can, I guess we can go and do this. Get up there. We will make a quick stop. Just so we can get some more save, save potions. Assuming they've restocked. I think they probably would have. It's been a while. It's been a couple in-game days. There's supposed to be a quest here too, but because we're trying to kill a bunch of them, I don't think it act like activate. How's trade? Yeah, see, like there's no. Can I sleep? Hi. For how long? How about? No problem. You'll like it. Yeah, see, I don't know. Usually that means... Um... There's something here for us, but... <laughs> that means we got, like, nine now? Uh, that should do us for a while. We go through them pretty quickly. I'm still kind of deciding whether or how much of the DLC to do. It's only. Two left. I think. One is um Capon Hans Capon's thing, which I think isn't till the end of the game. Like you have to do it afterwards, like after the main story. That is. That's okay, but I really don't want to do the other one. It's so... I just... <clears throat> it's essentially like you redo the beginning as another character. And I don't want to do that. You must be here somewhere. <sighs> Grab my hands in the way. Okay, I think we still have like a fair, fair amount of um, game left. Like we won't finish it this time. I got, I got the uh, quests mixed up. Really. <laughs> Assassin on me? What's the matter? Cool. <laughs> so what you're made of? Bullets! Oh. <laughs> Come here, Lily Ripper. <laughs> I have some good potions at least and alcohol
And a lot of unknown potions. I don't know what that means. You just run through the woods, I think. It's like right over there. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Probably could have cut our travel time down pretty significantly. I think that's the swordsmiths over there, right? And we haven't been here for ages, so I don't know how much money would have been generated, but I imagine it's a fair, like, decent chunk. This one, next one. See what he's got for us. And kind of, I kind of annoyed you can't have both. You can't have an armor smith and a swordsmith. You've got to have one or the other. What are you doing here? Good health to you. How are you getting on here, Master Swordsman? I've completely forgotten how pleasant it is to work in a village. I don't miss the stink of the town drains. That I can tell you. May the Lord but. watch over you. About that. Are you sure that who else would she be? Uh -huh. hmm. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. Um what about the, ma the ceremonial mace is seventy two. Oh, that actually may be better. I think it looks better. It's the same, but uh, she what? Yeah, blanks. Um, let's see. Bailiff's me. Now this one does more damage because we've repaired it and whatever. Perks that let more stuff does more damage. That's that. Looks okay. Pretty good. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Come back. All right. Let's go and check our balance. Oh, we haven't been to the tavern yet, even though we built it a million billion billion years ago. Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, lad? I will skin you alive. What are you doing? Here? I hope I can be of help to you. I can't be bothered to haggle anymore. Huh. I'm honored that a knight so Farewell. Just play dice with uh I'm good. We've we've done enough dice for like ever. So don't have any more jobs to do. Not that we need it. It's a shame there isn't like an even bigger money sink to put into because like we had we we don't have it anymore but we almost had a hundred thousand which is a little ridiculous and there's another forty one thousand in here so take that so we have a hundred and fourteen thousand Russian right insane okay. Let's actually, let's take a look at our quests and see what we got in here. Oh, we still need to do that. Oh, 
I guess we can go and get some livestock. Alright. Oh, we still need to go and... Oh, sh... I forgot about that one. Totally forgot about that one. Um, I guess there's more cans for us to destroy. I wouldn't mind doing that. There's a bunch of stuff down here. A bunch of quests up here we can do to... We're going to undo this one. We'll worry about the last rest later. It's been like two seconds. Do not tell me that there's another trap. Where do these people come from? They're in the middle of nowhere. The sword is still here. Fucking for real. Fuck me, there's a few of them. Oh. Okay. Wolf. Um. I do quite like the uh, human helmets. Captain's helmet. I like them. I'd love to take all this stuff, but we don't really need it. But we do need a bow. Let's grab that one. Doubt it will, but could it? No, does more damage. Hang on. Repair this. Still not quite as good. I like the masks. I don't like the full helmet. Gross. Not bad. They knocked all those people out. Uh pretty easily. Hey Rum, how you doing? Um, no, not yet. I mean, I guess Probits Probits counts as our own kingdom. Sort of kinda, but not really. Oh god. Call that combat. Oh my god, where are all these people coming from? Where's my weapon? Yeah, that guy's Bring bleeding. Boss. Well, we're getting attacked so often that I just... I'm not bothering. <laughs> I'm not bothering riding it. Because we have to get off. And on and off and on and off and on. So... This way, it's a lot quicker. <laughs> this little fucker. I fucking hate the people with the pole arms. Oh, that guy died. How you doing, Rom? How was your weekend? 
shit! You'll get what's for. Ow. Oh man, aren't you the one that was bleeding? Or was it the other one? I'm going to enjoy this. There we go. Please, guy. Finally. Right. Um. Oh, we don't really need the money anymore, but. Um. Hello? We need hair skin. We don't need um not boar skin. Hide. So. Yes, they oh nice. How'd that go? I'm guessing that. Nice catch up with family every now and then. Yeah. Whoa. These guys are supposed to be bandits, so we can probably just use them. Oh. God. Um. Yeah. Sword. Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Quite smoothly. Oh, good. Um, uh, well, when it comes to family, sometimes you can hard to tell things will go all right or not. He lifts mace. Thought maybe like a, <laughs> a rare one or something, but I think accident. Yeah. Thankfully, we've got the perk that unlocks like everything on the map, so. Fairly easy to find them. Well, so far. You hey, boys. Hey, what are you doing? Tired of life, are you? Hey, the hell just happened there? Gather here, raise the alarm. I'll wring your neck, you. I didn't think they'd be quite so heavily armoured. <laughs> he was just sitting there, which means he was an easy target. 
What are the fucking combos? I always forget them. Oh, we have another thing in speech. Uh, <sighs> oh, <laughs> increases speed. Gotta be kidding. You'll get one of them. There we go. Too bad. I have not once showed mercy in this game. Oh, also we're going to kill Esther. Supposed to be rescuing because that guy tried to extort me. And then we're going to go back and kill him. Um. There were some people for a quest that was like... There was a guy who was going to tell us where to find counterfeiting people but we found them accidentally i just walked into one of the mines and found them um so we didn't really need his quest did she escape well I think she's supposed to be here. Hmm. Not great. <laughs> Did she run off, maybe? If she's run off because she's... Oh my god, yeah, she ran a m fucking mile away. The door got opened. Is she still moving? Hello, Esther. Wow, she didn't even have a name. She was just called Bathmaid. Uh, okay, he's somewhere down here, so we're going to find him eventually. That's some hard. Oh, shit. You know those those cumin? We've got to take the ears off those cumins. <laughs> Whoops. When we do get to the end of this game, we're going to try and go on, like... A bit of a rampage. I want to see how many of these like towns that I can just decimate, kill everyone before I'm killed. I reckon we can get through, through at least one. <sighs> okay. Probably not where he's supposed. To. I don't know he's just chilling in the dark. Be with you. I've taken care of you. Here it is. I'm delighted to hear it. Some charcoal burners came here from the camp. Very well. You could do with a bite to eat. That food. Well, that's not too far. I guess we can go and do that and then head down to the Ledechka so we can get the livestock. The monk's got no Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, lad? Slowly make our way back to Sassel, I guess. What are you Yeah. 
save it before we go in. Just in case, but I don't think this. The hardest part's always just finding them. But because it's nighttime, we should be able to see their camp fairly easily. Oh my god, it's pitch black. There they are. Oh, there we go. Dog and dog, come here. Um, okay. Apparently, dogs are invulnerable. I don't like killing the dogs, but they suck. And the other one's stuck in the house. Oh, I should have put my Queerus on for this. <laughs> Too late now. Oh, another one? So what was that? That was nothing. Um, did you see that that guy just spawned in? That's cool. Uh, we're gonna have to swap. Oh boy, even T posed. Nice. Because I'm in like a weird spot. There's another one somewhere. Oh my god.
Plus it does. Plus we've got like all these perks that um can like knock them out in one hit, stuff like that. But it's just not as cool, you know. I like the swords are cool. To me anyway. Where's the other like one had two leaders. I'm not sure if that's a uh... Oh, maybe it didn't. Never mind. What am I doing? I don't need to take the Groshen. <laughs> Why not? Specifically, why can't I fast travel? Is because there's things around me. Fuck me. There are these little annoyances in this game, but because you've got to play for so long to get through everything, they just build and build and build and annoy the shit out of me. This is going to be like one of the last camps, surely. We've done a bunch of these. And of course, he's moved. There's a mud crab, yeah. There's a mud crab nipping at my freaking knee. There's no, like. Uh... No best. Like, no better mace to go and find. I like the idea of there being. Not legendary weapons, but like ancient weapons or in that are in treasure chest or something somewhere. Part of one of the treasure hunt things. I think that'd be cool. Jesus Christ be praised. I've taken care of you. Here it is. I'm delighted. Now it seems we can take a bit of a breather. Yeah, there we go. That was the last one. But it would be a pity to waste your talents. Oh. I say the roads aren't safe even by Sazal or around Scalitz. That's true, yeah. Over there, the brigands are on the ramp. This is very, very far from the fantasy sort of. He's the custodian at the Sazal Monastery and in charge of security in that region. Very well. Ooh, that actually may be kind of helpful for us. Um, yeah, this is much more based in like. Uh, act then like oh look you found a magic sword that can conquer the entire world but like well, part of me yearns for it that's pretty much it go to Ledechko and get some livestock which I, I guess would be the last thing we didn't have to do it to finish bits for lit bits if it's Levitz, whatever. Um, but it'll be good to take that one off. Go and see what the interloper thing is in Sassau. And then start doing the main quest again while we're there. And we have to talk to the bailiff. Well, look. Wait, are we talking to the butcher? That's a bit weird. I yeah, the butcher. God, no. God be with you. Then, I guess not. Is it always the butcher? Um. Right, I guess we'll go and check in Sasa. If we can't do it, maybe we just did already finish the whole town. 
which would be just typical. <laughs> An assassin, eh? The old... Come here, Lily Liver. God, I hate it when like the peasants <laughs> the peasants along the road can like counter me. It's so fucking like humbling. You call that combat. Like man, who trained you? <laughs> Could key walk. That would require me to actually um do it myself. You put that away. Um Jesus Christ, are you in need of a, a banana? I understand. No, that's not what I meant. You want me to pay heaven for bait? I don't want to. No. Oh. Get me a May the Lord watch over you. So, no, I can't do it anymore. All right, whatever. I guess we'll just take that one off. Uh, which would be supplies. I really don't know if I can be bothered to do these. <laughs> I'll go and talk to the people we need down here. There's a bunch of other quests here, but I think I'm good. I'm okay, we're just doing the main quest now. anything suspicious lately and what's your idea of suspicious have you heard of anyone looking to hire some rough men <laughs> mercenaries you mean yes there were some fellows conspiring here in the corner twice a week and others coming and going they didn't look entirely respectable but they never made any trouble and what happened to them I don't know they just stopped coming and I haven't seen hide nor hair of them since you haven't heard anything about where they went. How could I have? They just stopped coming, and that's that. Where do you think they might be meeting now? How should I know? I'm an honest innkeeper, not a man at arms. 
They could be meeting at another inn. They could be meeting in the woods by the light of the moon, for all I know. <laughs> Is there any way I'll recognize them? Unquenchable thirst? They drank like fish. They were rough looking, too. Big bearded and scruffy. Aside from that, they mostly kept to themselves. Well, that's not much help. What did they do while they were waiting for someone? They drank. And they played dice. I do remember there are always dice on the table. So they were fond of dice, were they? And where would you find a game around here? Anywhere there's dice and usually drink. That's all you need for a game. Although it dawns on me now, I never saw Simon with those men, oddly enough. He's got a nose for drunken dice players with a coin to lose. Simon who? Why, the young miller. He runs Capsic Mill. Neighbors are always slandering him for trafficking, but who knows? Maybe he just has a knack. Trafficking? <laughs> what? You don't know where I might find some... Uh... And why would you want them? You'll set tongues wagging about you. But they'd be the ones to know what reputable townsfolk don't. I grant you that. <laughs> well, we don't have an executioner, just a knacker. But he's an odd fellow. Like any knacker, I suppose. And there's some strange tales about Miller Simon, too. But I'd say it's just jealousy. What can you tell me about the knacker? Decent folk don't talk about him. He deals in carcasses. I was hoping you'd tell me a bit more than that. Why should I care about him? He lives in a house by the church, and that's all I know. What can you tell me about Simon? There's not much to tell. He runs Katzig Mill, and some say thieves meet there at night. But isn't there gossip about every miller? I don't think he's a sinner, but only God knows for sure. Anything else? You might not find him at the mill. He's a busy man, always out and about making some deal or other. And he likes to throw dice, especially when he sees a fat purse hanging on a drunken belly. <laughs> Thank you for the help. Not at all. But why off so Oh, he was very helpful. Let's we'll buy some savior snaps up. Oh. That's our knacker. Also need to go and check on that guy that gave us that quest. One of these ones. Well, that one. Wait. Maybe it was that other one. That's probably because he's not home. Uh, no, no, that's not it. <laughs> um, yes, is the. Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, lad? I'm glad. The news I have isn't good. What? It's about Esther. I don't know what to tell you. There was nothing I could do. Merciful God. My Esther. She... Of course. Thank you. Listen, I know this... I understand. Go ahead. They found me in the tavern one evening. Oh, yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Where will I find people that... So hard for We've done all this. Oh, wait. How did you hand over... They... What? Let's go. Goodbye. Ah! Uh oh. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> oh God. Bring it on. Ah. No. Oh, 
Oh, it didn't give us anything anyway. Oh, fuck. There's like a million. Where's the last save? What is happening? There we go. Stuck on something. There we go, I can see now. Oh shit. What does happen? It keeps skip it keeps uh, switching between people. Which is really quite annoying. See how we're gonna get out of this. <laughs> oh god. Bring it on. I'm fully stuck right here too. This is sickening, like actually sickening. I feel motion sick right now. You're looking at me, you fool. Talking about. I think I barely did anything. They were just like macking each other accidentally and knocked all of themselves unconscious. No, my habit is damaged. I'll have to fucking get. Oh, I'm hungry too, aren't I?
Is that like all of the guards? Close that. <laughs> Pretend nothing happened. Hmm. That went well. <laughs> oh my god. Ladies and gentlemen, good man. Jesus. What do you want from me now? Are you the local natto? I'm the local grave digger. But if there aren't any burials to take care of, I'll turn me hand to knackering. Well, then you might know a lot of things. What's that knackering? I'm a decent man. Not always honest, but decent. Anything fishy going on in these parts? There certainly is. Candles are being stolen from the church. As brazen as that. What sort of people do that? Ah, but have you heard of anyone around here hiring adventurers and bandits? How would I know that? Most people avoid talking to... And what's been happening in Sassau lately? Nothing interesting. Except maybe that bitch being slaughtered. What? Who was she, a villager? I wouldn't call that nothing interesting. No. I mean a dog bitch. It was a while back, but they called me to clear it up. What happened? The dog looked like she'd been hacked to bits. Jesus. I was scared it was some demon, but as far as I could see, someone took a sword or an axe to her. Why on earth would anyone do that? What do I know? Maybe he was snooping around where he shouldn't, and the bitch went for him. I hear there was some dog-bitten fellow being cared for at the monastery. Only they kept him there on account of a broken leg. Maybe that's the same one. Hmm, okay. Thank you. Very well. Feel free to... Yeah. Uh, I won't fast travel because we'll probably get, like, interrupted. What? The Christians don't leave me to die. Sizes and flavors. Good day. Um. Salami, sausages, lard, and mustard. That's another guard. <laughs> uh, we might as well keep it. We're too far gone now. Oh yeah, save your schnapps. I always need them. Uh, I smoke sausages. Why not? Okay. Uh, what's this? Miller Simon about the cramps. That's ages away. We'll go to the monastery first. See what we can see. That is the wrong way. Jesus me.
you going to try and attack me? What are you doing here? You're playing truant from the monastery, aren't you? All I can see that's wrong with him is his hey. leg. <sighs> really? I... <laughs> I don't want to. What are you doing here? So why aren't they attacking me? Is the the habit hiding my identity? Have a freak. Oh my god, am I stuck? Upstairs? Or upstairs, or he's in that locked room. Aren't you? And hurry up. I've come from Captain. And what might the captain be wanting to let me know? I'm not a messenger. I've nothing to report. The captain thought I could lend you a hand. Oh, so it's you, the hero of Tomberg. We know that one of their encampments is on the hill by Skelets. I'll take a look there. Take care. Uh, we'll see if we do that or not. I don't know if I can be bothered, but... See. Can't talk to your hunker. I did take one of the medicine medicine perks. But I don't know if that'll be enough. I have like a whole bunch of potions and whatever, so maybe get off easy and just give her one of them. What are you doing here? Your hunker? Uh, Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I Who? <laughs> heard that you're doing well. Well, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. Oh, this voice acting is awful. What's happening here? Oh my god. Philip and... They're all... Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, I... I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scarlet's was raised. Just the two of us. Um... Certainly. We can always use... And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Ratai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone hold holding up? Keep we don't have enough food or Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all. Of the way they treat us and I almost slapped one of... Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe. But they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps. And it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're <laughs> talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Ugh. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well, go and see if anyone needs any. Ew. All right. Look, last week we death. I'll do. <laughs> Quiet. Help me. I can pickpocket, pickpocket him. These wounds have been well. Henry. What's wrong with that man by the altar? He had a broken leg. A bad one. I'm not holding out much hope. Oh my God. And what do you suggest? Well, I can try. 
You. I'll give it a go. Not like I can make it any worse. <laughs> so you don't know anything. What about the executioner from Ratai? The executioner? Even if... Well, maybe it would be... Look, do whatever... God bless. Um, why does it have to be there? There's no fast travel thing. Can I just like walk into the monastery? <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me, I'm going to pickpocket the guy and see if he's got a note on him. Something. Hey Julia, how you doing? I think I just stole some random books from him. <laughs> I don't think he actually had anything important. Uh, oh, it's so much busy work. <laughs> um... I think I'm like maxed level. If we get some more XP, we could get the fir next first aid thing. I think would mean we'd be able to do it, but I did. I did just save it. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. <laughs> <gasps> nice. Oh wait, no, I didn't get a perk for it. Fucking kidding me. Uh Oh, what's making you dizzy? Please help me. That doesn't sound good. So you got all um, you got all the material and stuff you needed then. I hope that wasn't too much of a hassle. Aren't you meant to be in the monastery? Yeah. Yeah. Can I get out of here this way? Uh, yeah, no. Can Henry swim? I don't think we can, can we? Sakra. It's hellishly deep here. Oh. You could totally walk across that. You feeling any better at all? Oh, get all rusty. <laughs> uh, Surrender. Yeah, well. Oh, fuck me. I'll slaughter you. I swear they respawn when you fast travel. That's kind of why I didn't want to. Who the fuck's that other guy? Got some nice fabrics? Well, that's good.
Who yes, are you? What did you call me? Oh, fucking that. Fuck off. Who, we, who are you? Off, son of a bitch. What is... Why is my mouse, my mouse, my mace bouncing off his Let's fucking shield when he's behind me? Also, our health is supposed to be regenerating. What's the matter? Come on! I feel worse. Oh no. Shut up. 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 Shut Yeah. I'm getting very low on health right now. <laughs> Gone weak at the knees, have you? They just keep coming. Oh my God. Come on. Insolent whelp. Really? Oh, here comes another. <laughs> <laughs> Just another random citizen. Why are you trying to kiss me? You. Oh my god. I can't wake up the knees, have you? Quick, there's a corpse there. Who are you? Dickhead. Who's shooting arrows at me? Maybe I should have taken that. I'm bleeding quite profusely right now. Well, anyway, we're going to let that happen because I need to, to bandage like right now. Oh my god. Uh, we need... He's divorced, oh, I wish. I may look like a Jedi, but I'm... I'm not. <laughs> I'm a fraud. It's all a sham. What the hell? I have a little wash. Rid of all the blood. Hopefully we can get to the guy we need to get to without too much more trouble. Hi. Has something happened? Uh, 
Uh, why is this place built like this? It's so annoying. I don't feel like. Oops. I do. Have I lost my bounty? Not bounty. Um. Oh. For bits for let's wants to fucking arrest me. So does Rate and Scallets. But why not Sassel? Hey, where's Sassel? Sassel's fine with me. <laughs> What the fuck? That's bizarre. Wait, no worries. I don't think I quite understand the um, the notoriety system in this game. So somehow killing all those people has like reversed them wanting to send me to jail. So now it's fine. That's weird. No ah! Oh, sway. Somebody help! I prefer the sword. Damn it! Alarm! Why are you so loud? I don't think this is really the way I was supposed to go, but it's working, so. There he is. God be with you. Oh my god, he looks like every other guy. Listen, have you heard about anyone looking to recruit men around here, or planning some kind of mischief? No. Come on. I know how it is with Millers. I've been friends with a few and they hear all the gossip. So go ask them. I doubt their ears reach all the way here. Then it seems you're out of luck. Surely we can come to some arrangement. I don't much care. So? What do I have? Well, if I heard from those Miller friends of yours... You've got experience in the monastery, aren't you? I'd like you to teach... Certainly. I'm interested. All right. Now. Good luck. Oh, you don't run away. I'd like you. To. Certainly. I'd like to. All right. Now. Farewell. I'd like you to. Certainly. I want to. You can't become a master over. Well. Okay. Farewell. Hey Stone, how you doing? So what do I have to do? I have to... What? Oh. <laughs> okay. So I can't do anything. Oh, guess we're going to talk to the executioner. Fucking kill me now. Which seems very nice. 
Going to move uh, Nessie. <laughs> no, they're slow. We've fucking slow down to a crawl because we have to, to do anything in this quest. We have to do 17 other things to get some person to talk to us before I lose my mind, kill everyone, and then myself. So it's going good. <laughs> <laughs> well, they asked they asked for it and uh I'm happy to give. No. The um I definitely I definitely started it, but I also forgot to finish it, so I'm I'm content. That we will no longer be paying for our action. I guess thick potted. Bleeding is usually, like, the worst. Um, we are going to kill anyone who tries to stop us at this point. And then when we get close to the end, or once we finish the main quest, we're going to go through each city and just murder everyone until we get killed. Because I want to see how far I can make it. I reckon I could make it through every single city on the map before I get taken down. They all probably will respawn, which is dumb and gross and dumb. Ah! Um. Uh, how do I get through? Can I just go straight through? I don't want to have to go all the way around. In the right. We'll wait until daytime so we can see. And while it's going, I'm just going to quickly duck to the bathroom and I'll be back.
are you doing here? <laughs> I need help with a wounded man from Sasau. And why should I help you? I will kill you otherwise. You make me angry. What do you need? Do you know anything about... <sighs> no, Henry. No, no, it's not that. The exact opposite, actually. There's a man in Sassau with a badly broken leg. They tried to straighten it, but now he's unconscious, and he just keeps getting weaker. Hmm. And the monks won't touch him? Yeah, that's right. They say it's in God's hands. True enough. But it doesn't mean we can't help him, too. Where's the leg broken? Above the ankle. All right, listen. They won't let me in to see him, but it's not all that hard to deal with. There are two bones there. Most Why do you come to <laughs> set, or it's set badly. You can find both of them by feeling for them. If he's lost weight, it'll be all the easier. You have to find the place where the break is and get the two parts together. But the <laughs> agonizing. <laughs> like a wound. I do not blame you at all. It's the all best sound the effect ever. You'll have to get some strong fellows to hold him down so he doesn't do himself a worse injury. Don't be afraid to dig your fingers right into the flesh Ew. and don't let the screaming put you off Oof. all right <laughs> <laughs> easy enough because we now no longer have a bounty in the monastery somehow but my people how have, how do I have a bounty? This is what I mean. I don't understand this. How do I have a bounty in Scalots when no one lives there? And why in Provitzvalivitz? Since I'm a million miles away. I don't get it. Game is giving me a headache. <laughs> Which is a fucking common occurrence now. Very quickly, apparently. They forgive me in the town that I did all the murders, but the people in my own town, or the one that I run, is like, hey, that son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Listen, hell yeah, we do. But I need their money. So, I can teach them a lesson, like, towards the end. Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, lad? Is it going to be a cutscene? Or is it going to be a... Nothing. Are you holding in firmly? Aye. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get there, though. <laughs> You. Done. <laughs> what will happen to my family? That was easy and quick, turns out. Now what? A monk's got no business out here. What happened to your vows? The love of God. Tell me more. All right. Goodbye. Um, do I have to wait or Philip and Scalitz? I don't care. I don't see any wounds. I, I don't. But he's shaking terribly. Oh, that's a shame. No, we straightened someone else's broken leg. And, and remarkably easily. Funnily enough. Yeah. My fucking god. <sighs> I don't know if we had to wait a day. He's not talking to us, so I assume we just have to wait for it. Oh. Eight. There we go. I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on, Thomas says. 
How are you doing? Die much better. I'm truly grateful. A bit longer and I'll <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Well, truth be told, I didn't come. What do you need? Well, I've heard tell there's work for fearless men who in ah, I believe I can the church. Die, that's right. The church is locked at night, but if you see a light, the door that's it. Just doing what I told you is enough. All right, thank you. You took care of me. May the Lord watch over you. Cool. Uh, church. That was a lot of effort. Hopefully this pays off. I guess, like, the... Uh, the amputation would be a last resort, surely, because... Well, especially back in the day. Oh, haven't we been through this yeah, enough? I'm gonna get XP like crazy oh, though. Got weak at the knees, have you? Fuck off. Fuck it. Oh god, there's so many. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Take that. You're dead. There's so many of them. <laughs> Broken leg. Ah, uh, yes. Spontaneous, spontaneous bone breaking. It's a, uh, a horrible thing. I've been super lucky. Like I've had some pretty big falls in my in my time, but I've never broken anything. I've sprained plenty, but thankfully all my bones remain unbroken. Oh, I'm in the water now. That's fun. Oh shit. Fucking hell. I know it's very unrealistic, but I want to dual wield. <laughs> I want two maces and just swing around like fucking General Grievous. I feel like that'd be very satisfying. But the physics of the game would probably explode. Get the, knees, have you? Oh, get the fuck back here. Being in the water makes this not fun. <laughs> I, I feel like that was like a universal thing when they always wanted to teach you stuff with videos they always chose the goofiest videos they possibly could and it was always something dumb happening um to distract you it's like they did it on purpose I, i'm sure they were like oh yeah we'll do we'll make it entertaining by making it strange but it always had the opposite effect Just too busy laughing to learn anything it's like all these in science class we used to watch all these old like instructional dvd uh, dvds that were like uh tell you how to do experiments and whatever but they were always like 40 years old and they were always so weird that it was so hard to pay attention and it was just you just laugh at these old weird um, well, I never. educational movies, I guess. <laughs> Had enough? What I said to your mum last night. <laughs> Got him. And now you'll never see your mother again.
Yeah. <laughs> Let's speak for yourself. <laughs> no bueno. No like. Don't like that. I'm, I'm fine with goal. But like, real goal. Don't know about that. Uh. Hey, Andre, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Intentionally. Um, at this point, yeah, I didn't set out to do it, but I'm so... We're kind of strong now, and... We've switched. We've, we've, we've gone dark side. Um, I was saying this before, but we're gonna... When we get to... The end after we finish all the main missions we're gonna go and see how many of the main city can wipe out um before i get killed kind of yeah kind of doing a a selfish run <laughs> i guess right it was like ours are like that as well they always had like the most boring person ever narrating it or talking over it Boring music. Or annoying music, yeah. Um, and, like, there was so much potential there for to make them interesting, but they just never did. To be fair, they had, like, a budget of 10 bucks, usually. Like, they never had a budget to do anything uh, too much with them. So I can't blame them there, but... Still, <laughs> it's a little... Um, a little irritating. No, uh, not at all. Not at all. I mean, I think we actually did it three times. Oh, oh, look at my ratty outfit. So, you've been looking for us, eh? What is it you want? I hear you're hiring men who don't mind getting their hands dirty. Is that so? And where did you hear that? Taverns and the like. People talk. Oh, that's a pretty tale. But no one in any tavern told you to come here and wait, did they? So let's have it. It's very so, true, yeah. I don't recall his name, but he was one of your friends. He said that he couldn't take me straight to you, that I had to go through the church. He was right about that. But he still said more than he should have. I know my way around. That is such a scam. They still do that it's shit. It's ridiculous. I've got so it's the biggest scam but see, on the planet. Handle it before you tell us how wonderful you are. What test? Nothing complicated. We used to take anyone who looked like they could keep their head on straight, <laughs> but not now. Now you can only join if you do what we tell you. Which is what? Steal something? Nah, not theft. If you want to join us, you have to kill Pius. Um. I have to find him first. Who's Pius? <laughs> you don't need to find him. We know. <laughs> yeah. That is such a shitty little tactic, isn't it? I hate it. He's hiding in a monastery. With the stable boys. It's not hard to get into the grounds. <laughs> no, not there. Well, he would have been dead long since. He's in the, uh, cloister or whatever. Really? But only monks That's awful. <laughs> Just monks and pious. He's an educated bastard. Seems he used to be a priest. But it didn't quite work out. Having a bag. Who's Pius? No. And why should I kill him? That's none of your business, pal. Yeah, that was part of it. Stole. Alright. Um. And how am I supposed to. You'll think of something. Maybe there's a secret passage. And do you have any other ideas? This well, there is this one fellow been hanging around the tavern. And if he doesn't help, knock him on his ass. So I've got to kill Pius. More or less. The main thing is to kill <laughs> Of course. But that's not all. All hell's gonna break leap. What else? No, no. Before you run for it, to bring his dice and the money if I can. From the monastery, head east across the river. Right, okay. to slip into the best guarded place in the Yeah. Okay, yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Cool. All right, this is the place. I think we can get in. I know how to get in. Oh, we've been in there already, so it shouldn't be too hard. Oh. <sighs> 
I feel like they can be said for a lot of the side quests in this fucking game. <laughs> They're all very... A lot of them could be pretty weird. At least a lot of them are interesting as well. Did you fu did you tear that teacher's throat out, Juliet? Holy shit. What a piece of garbage. Well, I'm I'm, I'm glad everyone was um mad as they sh freaking should have been. Oh my god, pay indulgence. Oh, I I would have some very choice words I'd like to say, but they might uh <laughs> curdle some ears. That's disgusting. Why do I say it like that? You know what I mean. Alright. So we've already broken into this place and we're pretty good at stealth. So I think we can do this in the old fashioned way. We'll try last time I played this I did go through the whole rigmarole. But this time around I kinda wanna do it a different way to see if we can. Oh, uh, we can just sneak in. Good. I hope she got ran over. Run over. Ran over. I hope she got run over on the way out, too. What an awful, awful witch of a woman. <laughs> Make this a little easier on us. We're going to leave... I'll take everything off except for our habit. This is where we came in before. I think that. No, I should d definitely do. Joy. Well, at least everyone's asleep, so I don't think it'll be too hard to find him. You don't belong here. Leave right now. Get going. Did I step on him? Possibly. I just killed that guy, and nobody woke up. Okay, <laughs> let me let me load this. This is not great. Yeah, so so young, like young, and clearly he was an awful person, just trying to be as cruel as possible. A young child, like the fuck. <laughs> oh shit! Hate that they do that. Go back to bed. Right now. Yeah. Well, I'm, kids are, unus are usually very cruel, so I'm glad this was an exception. They usually jump on the bandwagon pretty quickly. Name gonna be pious. <laughs> I 
I don't think he's up here. Maybe we knock this guy out. Like, you... oh my god, that was pious. Cease this disgraceful behavior. Wait, what? The die is cast. What happened? Oh, I see. Okay, so we're supposed to like investigate, which is um. If they fired her after that too, it probably means that she, this wasn't the first time, surely. Because, honestly, it, it might be different. I guess it's probably different where, um, when you went to school. But here, it's so difficult. We had so many teachers at our school that were awful people, but they never got fired. So it's a big, a difficult and annoying thing to get a teacher from. Even if they are awful. We are going to go and just pickpocket people until we find whoever is carrying those dice and then we'll kill whoever that is. I'm this close to going through and just murdering everyone, and then we'll pick up, we'll loot whoever is left, or whoever's dead after. I'm ready for this game to be over. <laughs> How would he have caught me? Because I let go. That was all books and stuff. School records. That's what it all comes down to. That's awful. Oh my god. That is horrific. But that's all they care about. That's all they care about is their fucking, their image. Um. There we go. That's the one. And nobody woke up. Even better. Are you fucking kidding? Of course, yeah. It is, but they don't think they don't see it that way. All they care about is their um their image their, and the stuff that makes them money, which is which is all a part of that, really. No. What are you looking for? By the ears. No what one's allowed this time, brother. They're shirking their responsibilities. This is very strange. Um, pretty sure I got away with that, but again, the hive mind thing is not my favorite. 
the fact that they just fucking know something went wrong. This seems like a criminal thing, surely. Like... Hey, you! Don't move up! That... Uh, aren't you... If you're... A psychologist, was it? Isn't it kind of like your duty to report this kind of stuff? To... Authorities. Because <laughs> this is this is beyond like. A lot of stuff like if they know for sure that she's physically harming herself, then. This seems like it could be. Taken further. I'm trying to say. Fuck. Ing die. Oh my god. This way home. Um. Help me. That's a very fucking awful way to look at it too. She'll graduate soon. Well, she might not. <laughs> if it's that bad. Oh, got him right in the head. Yeah. I'm glad there's... Oh. I hope it's a genuine, like, look into what's happening and not just, like, an investigation so they can say they did they did some investigation about it and then just get, uh, like, sweep it under the rug. Because that's usually what happens. It's just, like, this something for the sake of um, saying they did something. Which is all, honestly worse than just ignoring it. Oh, they'll stretch it out. Then. If, it, if the yeah. end of the year is coming up, they'll stretch it out until it's not... It's... Oh. Um, they'll stretch it out that whole time and then be like, oh, sorry, we didn't find anything. Fuck me. What a horrible place. Internal. Oh, yeah. This looks like the place they were talking about. Um... I can tell you a little secret about one of the schools I went to. The uh, at one of the schools I went to, the a couple years before I went there, it might have been. I don't know. I was I was still in primary school. Um, and this was the way we do it here. It was one of my other high schools. <laughs> um, and so I was still in primary school, and while I was in there. The principal of one of these schools got caught with a student, a, a, a older student, but still one who was uh, not quite 18. Um, and they were fired for it, obviously. But the only reason they were fired was because the majority of the school found out because the student that it happened to told everyone, like, everyone um so it was something that they couldn't ignore and they were fired but uh most people most of the other teachers were fine with letting her stay on the principal was a woman <laughs> um if it uh Hadn't have been like so so widely known. And I know this because I ran into one of my teachers, and they were like a couple years later, and they in a uh, like a pub, and they were shit faced 
and I couldn't get him to shut up. So <laughs> it was just like one of these times where I just kind of sat there. I didn't really say much and I learned so many things. It was great. It's not great, but interesting to say the least and awful. Seriously? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Here's an idea. Don't be an awful person, and then maybe you won't get fired. I don't know. It's funny how that works. Maybe just let people be who they want to be and keep your opinions to yourself. There's an idea. Mind-blowing, I know. Criminal charges, yeah. That's a that's like a common thread. Like there should be a lot of criminal charges for a lot of this stuff, and it just never happens. Yeah, it's a shame, but it's not surprising. Right, it doesn't affect you in the slightest. But for some for some reason, people take it. You have to sneak up on me like thieves. So personally. Thieves. Besides, you had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. <laughs> yeah. Is, oh, yeah, I don't get that either. Was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? It is. It is. Like, it's none of your business. It's do you think I'd be sitting here if I completely I? none of your business. The world's full of idiots. <laughs> it's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I left it where it was. What else could I do? So, they lose a monk and find a corpse. How long do you reckon it'll take them to put two and two together? Well, it's not like I was planning to make a career in Rome. Hmm. Fair enough. Except they didn't lose a monk. <laughs> I snuck in. What the fuck? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't know it's the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's yeah. a of Sasso, And on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know. Okay. Um... No business out here. What happened to your vows? Yeah, that's a hot issue. But it's a very, um... like important one because i'm personally i don't know i mean it's up but i don't know how anyone else feels but i'm not a big fan of um an organization that habitually takes advantage of children that's just me so i'm not really partial to listening to anything they have to say <laughs> funnily enough why i don't i don't mind i i have no no problem with uh religion itself but when it comes to organized religion and how big they get are able to get away with things that people shouldn't be able to get away with that's why i don't like it at all the thing i assume it's not just in ireland it's in a lot of places where it happens i know it's happened quite a bit here um, in Australia, I don't know to what degree, but I know it happens. 
we there's a guy who was like put away not long ago for oh many counts of it of um I don't even know what they call it like officially but he's an awful 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 man and he only just got put away a couple of years ago he's probably yeah, I not that I'll ever have to worry about it again, but I feel like that's what you want, right? Oh, thank God, is this the end? Um, you want a you want a school where your kid's gonna feel uh, is going to be safe. You don't want a school where the school is gonna cover up whatever's happening to your child because they fucking suck. It's doesn't make a ton of sense. It's it's one of those things like it has you better off facing the ugly truth at the moment than trying to cover it up. Come back and bite in the arm. What do you want? Yeah, see that sounds terrifying. Get me inside. inside, eh? What's Isn't you? Yeah. But for some reason. People want uh, people want to belong somewhere. That's all it comes down. People want to be part of something. I think they want to believe in something bigger than themselves, and religion facilitates that. Because it has for however many long, 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 long time. I'm not intelligent enough to know. <laughs> to much of an informed opinion. I mean, I have an opinion. I don't know. I uh, I don't know. <laughs> A hot topic. No, uh, we did a little, like a very, very, very small amount, um, yeah, last year, but because it is a very sensitive subject, I don't think that they would dive too deeply into it. I feel like there'd be more of a thing you'd have to do on your own time, um, because the, the section we did was like I didn't, I didn't even feel it it wasn't even really that like like I offensive is not the right word but it was just kind of looking at sort of why people did flock to in such massive amounts but it was like 30 minutes it was just like a brief slide and even bef before the one slide in the lecture, there was like two pages of warnings, <laughs> or like not two pages, a page, and then the lecturer spent almost more time talking about the sensitivity of the subject than the subject itself. So I imagine it deep, dives deeper into it later. Yeah, it's scary. It's scary when because uh, they're they're all in like they like protect each other. So one does one bad thing and they've got that vow of silence to go, to go off of. Not vow of silence. Um, whatever. The one where they don't tell, any, tell anyone what happened. I was going... I was just going... Uh, it's, I stopped for a little bit. Um, I, I sat through... I sat through a lecture on last Wednesday and it was a statistics lecture. It was three hours long and I didn't... I like my eyes glazed over. I didn't understand a single thing. So I've put a pause on my studies right now and I'm trying to transfer into another degree. See what happens. But right now I'm not studying. I'll be studying in June, probably. <laughs> Funny brain. Exactly. People take offense to it, even though it's psychology, like it's not opinionated. Well, actually it is. It's very opinionated. But I came here for a game. 
Um, Show me that. Hi. Uh, Welcome to Vranich, comrade. It's essentially simplifying what people uh, believe in, and people don't like that. Could you be in the house at the top? Unfortunately, psychology is maybe not as scientific as you'd like. I still have found that a lot of it is opinion and bias and all sorts of stuff. It's not an exact science. It kind of can't be an exact science, at least not at the moment. Um, as much as some of, some people would like it to be. It's a lot more spurious than I would really like. It's interesting, though. I do like it. I do enjoy it, but just some aspects of it that aren't great. Accountability. Oh, there's none. Like, uh, <laughs> but I wasn't. A lot of my family is religious. I wasn't raised it. My my um, parents kind of were, but then my grandparents. Some of my grandparents were fucking extremely religious. So I kind of don't have a, a, a basis of experience for religious stuff. I just sort of get my information from people who have and whatever else. I don't have any first-hand experience with it, but... or much. Um, but it does seem like a lot of... higher-ups in these organizations can get away with so much because... You're right. You know, they can only answer <laughs> answerable to God. This seems not great, honestly. No, they shouldn't be, but they are. Oh well, I mean, it depends. <sighs> it's a very, it's a, a very, it's just a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into it and it's not so simple as just say a burr religion bad or burr religion good like one of those things where you have to kind of figure that stuff out for yourself and don't be a sheep which is good for it. I feel like that's good advice for anything don't be a sheep don't follow stuff blindly question things constantly uh, because more often than not people will try and take advantage of you how do I? I need to sleep somewhere. I'm very tired. No, nothing ever changed. They do that all the time. <laughs> it happens all. Something comes out. It's not very flattering, and then the church is like, "Ah, oh, yes, we will make changes," and then nothing ever happens. It happens all the time. It's disgusting. And I feel like people surely have caught on by now to be like, hmm. Something, this stuff keeps happening and nothing's changing. But whether or not anything will happen, again, I doubt it, but. Oh man, I have to sleep for fun. Yeah. Like, Yeah. Feel free. You're free to believe in anything you want. Just don't don't shove it down other people's throats, and don't uh, do what the church, what most of the churches do. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, we live in a world, don't we? Find out what happened to Philip. Who the fuck is Philip? <laughs> right.
scene. Like, <laughs> uh, I. It's just so, it's just strange. <laughs> like, what are you what are you doing? Come on, make up make up your mind. I mean, of course, yeah. Eric, mm. shut up! Oh my god. Your mum. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery. Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yeah, exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our oh, for God's sake. It just keeps going. We'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. This tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. I know. It's same with, like, you know what? I feel like more intelligent people are less likely to care. I'm just happy to sort of coast along, whereas people who may be a little bit dumb, they may be maybe dumb doo doo heads, are always like, how dare you call it anything else? I'm going to make it my life's mission now to be as offended by this as possible. And make it everybody's problem. So I think everyone here is very intelligent. Are you Combat Master Vanya? <laughs> Hi, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to oh, see how good I am with a sword. Ah, I don't know how to say that. Another greenhorn. Nice to see Cosleek. Yeah. Mind you. Most Again, it, oh, I feel like it all boils down to just let people do what they fucking want. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. I've never seen you before in my life. Mm, really? I stake my neck. I know you from somewhere. Well, never mind. My memory isn't what it used to be. Too much drink, <laughs> or not enough. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? How on earth would I not have a weapon? But as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what. You yeah, know. yeah. It's exhausting. It's exhausting hearing everyone like tear each other up. Time, um, like I just I, It's not the best uh, solution, but I switch off so much now because otherwise it's, it's too depressing. Most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. <laughs> I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you. Don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak is past it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, Take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks. Ah, oh, see. What the fuck? What are you doing here? <laughs> Was that really like a skill that I learned, or is it just... Oh my god, about 200 people here and they all say the same fucking thing when I walk past them.
Bishop. Uh, isn't he one of the guys from out? Is he gonna like tell on me? Sir, may I? What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I. What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feelings. Where'd that fucker come from? When did you start recruiting Radzig's people, Eric? Radzig? <laughs> <laughs> this boy is very dear to him. Yes. I expect he's looking for this. Oh, special Am I right, young man? You bastard. <sighs> oh, get the fuck. I hate when they. We could kill legions of people at once, and he's coming around. I apologize for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety and ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm gonna keep. You I have a headache that could kill a horse right now, so forgive me if I'm a little more critical than usual. <laughs> My father's dead. I need to get some water and some fucking My medication. Wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy. Exactly. Beggars come. It's like there's an off button on the back of your head. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. <gasps> Oh my god! But nobody saw that twist coming. A homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Thanks, <laughs> I will, I promise. I'll get some water too. Shame, did you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well... Best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom... Oh my you god, that sounds like a migraine. Your father's dead. I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. And I found it. I agree with you. Know, I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you. And I'll be there to see it. <laughs> <I've been laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, Juliet, they have to. That your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. When he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine. And I plan to take everything. So meet the new lord of the realm. A man like you will never rule here. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg? Or Sahinek, the dry devil. They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. Jesus. And war is a nasty business. Sir, it's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. And let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell. Knock some manners into him, Udo. Come on, Eric. Let's go. We've got work to do. 
Henry. Henry. Wake up. Can you hear me? Hey, there he is. Jesus, that brute really worked you over. Here. Try to drink. <laughs> everybody. Literally everybody. My name. Don't you recognize me? Vishek. You fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing happened. Shh, shh, shh. quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of your life. So do you want my help or not? Hmm. I have my equipment back. If I lose everything, I'll be pissed. I had like a hundred thousand gold. <laughs> you want. I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Ishtran's bruiser. Oh. Bishak, yeah. Yep, he's been around for like since the beginning. He was our friend and then he bait us right at the very beginning and we lost the sword. What about my possession? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get them. Oh, wonderful. It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. Why would you, of all people, want to... Oh, really? That's weird. That's a weird coincidence. Not for the good of my soul, and for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen, and that's all you need to worry about. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. How'd you prepare? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the forest. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you, so the risk? Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so... Alright then. Let's <laughs> oh, yeah. Untie me. He is untied. You have my word. Alright, I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you the pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over uh, and we'll have a soft uh, Then we're oh, that's free disgusting. Free and shit. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go... I'll wait for you. Uh, so, I need to get some water and um, some headache stuff. So, I... We'll be back in a second.
Yeah, new new panels and stuff. It, honestly, I haven't had the energy to change a lot of stuff, so <laughs> it's just first one I saw. Uh, no, we're using Twitch Studio now, and that's only because OBS fucking sucks, and I hate it. <laughs> Freelad sucks, and I hate it. So I went with the one that worked. I think wouldn't be so much of a fucking task, but it was. Turns out. Yeah, it's Twitch's own one. It's very basic. It's like the f you don't have as much control over everything as I'd like. Um, but Streamlabs was like chopping up the streams into all these so annoying, like fifteen minute segments. Like go for fifteen, stop restart the stream and it would do that for like ages um and i tried split screen x split sorry that was shit i used to use obs when i first started streaming um and it failed so catastrophically for me that it uh like crashed and reset my entire pc and after that, I was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm sure it's better now, but. Oh, yeah, that's, that's clever. Yeah, XSplit was fucking awful. I don't recommend. It was really bad. Yeah, that seems to be like sort of the consensus. Uh, which is, it's good that there's another option. Streamlabs gets w got worse with every update. Um, it's just there's something, just something about it. <laughs> every time they updated, they just made it worse. So, um. It got really hard to stay with it. I, like I, I just kept using it because it had all my settings and it was easy and I could modify everything. Like here, see the green screen? I can't change that because I don't have as much control over my camera. <laughs> so I need to get another light to fix that because I can't use the software to fix it. Whereas in OB, um, Streamlabs, I could just... What are you doing? Motherfucker. It was pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah. Source goes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't surprise me. If that's the case, I yeah, it does not surprise me at all. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Because <laughs> it's, it's insane. Like, it was convenient because Streamlabs did everything, which was very handy. Like, having it connected to everything was good i like that i like um convenience but i couldn't even stream with it at the end in the end i probably will go back to it once i sort this shit out because it has everything i like how much control i have over everything in that one but this will do for now i don't care honestly i don't care how the stream looks <laughs> as long as uh, as long as it's working is a that's a big one as long as everyone's having fun, I don't care how it looks at all. My criteria for the stream is very, very small. <laughs> Thank you, Stone. <laughs> uh, it's hard. I tried my best. This camera's so bad. That's another thing. I need a new camera as well. <laughs> yeah, as long as you can see the hair. Oh, I was really hoping that he might have a lockpick. Oh, no. 
Where was the save your schnapps? Shampoo do I use? I use... Um... What shampoo do I... I switch. I go... I use a bunch of different ones. Usually I use, like, Quartz Cough or, um... The other one. Not usually. I switch. I use all of them. Anything that doesn't make your hair fall out, I'll use it. Which is easier said than done these days, but... As long as my hair... Oh, God. Um, I use a fair bit of product, too. And not a fair bit. I use enough product to keep me... Get me by. I do not know. It's... it's um, when my hair's wet... Uh, like, after I've brushed it in the shower, it goes past my chest, so... I don't have anything to... Like this? This much? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. It's uh, a length. Pretty long. Oh no. Anything that says two in one, anything that says two in one, three in one, fucking God forbid, four in one. The more something in one things, stay far, far away from it. Because that shit will make you smell strange, but also bald. They're really bad. <laughs> so, for the love of God, please don't buy them. Oh god. I'm. I want to just try and kill everyone. Come on, let's do this. I can take out this entire camp, no problem. It is. If I go bald, I will swing from the rafters, and that is not a joke. No, it's kind of a joke. But yeah, I refuse. I absolutely refuse to go bald. The way I take care of my, my hair, you'd think it was a child. Thank you. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm not, uh, I don't have any, like, um, hair loss issues at the moment, but I want to make sure that stays forever. So I do, I still do, like, hair growth serums. I do, I take a ton of vitamins. Um, like, I still do, um, like, rosemary, wa uh, rosemary, yeah, rosemary water. Rosemary oil is really good. Coconut oil too is really good. I do all that stuff just to make sure that it never goes. <laughs> oh, I should have taken some of that marigold decoction first. Yes, I do. I've killed a lot of people. Oh, ways I could, yeah. I don't know if that's a thing anyone wants to see, but yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I gotta work on those rock hard abs first before I do any any laying on rocks. This is good. This makes some horses come in one at a time. Okay, that was wrong. Hello, excuse me, personal space, buddy. Did 
Why did that do no damage? I don't understand. I need all my shit back if we're going to make this happen. Uh, hair overgrowth, that's the issue you want. <laughs> the beach ball. I mean, you could. It just take a lot of work, a lot of wax, a lot of like plucking, or like a ton of hair removal cream. <laughs> Excuse me. Can you get out of here, man? Fucking <laughs> hell! Oh no! <laughs> Some people are just like genetically dis dis de um. What do you call it? Genetically predisposed to having like fantastic hair until they're like 90. Yeah. I'm oh, good. I'm glad his I'm glad his hair is pushing through the the like two in one. <laughs> oh fuck. The game gets really confused when we're, you're in like close quarters like that. It doesn't like it one bit. It does fucking hurt. When I, I I tried waxing once, I got this big pot of wax, and I decided, you know, I'll do my I'll do my chest, and and my neck. So I did I did my, like one half of my chest, and it was pink from like the the wax strips, and it, I was in so much pain. <laughs> I was just like. I'll do this a little bit at a time. I pushed through it, but it was not fucking worth it. The hair came back so quickly. In case you wanted to know what the chest on my hair on my chest grows like. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> no secrets on this stream, I guess. Oh, I meant to get out of the way, not back myself into another fucking corner. Skips a generation every time. Ooh, that's that's good to hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, take what you can get. I mean, by the time we're like 50, even if all of us go bald, there's going to be like hair pills that you can take that are just sprout an instant head of hair. I mean, if the world doesn't end in between then, but, you know. Ugh. What is happening? Gonna cry now. Is that all you've got? No, I'll fucking uninstall this piece of shit game. <laughs> I don't have any bandages. Or maybe I do, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah it's, it can set in anywhere between like, like as soon as you hit puberty, some people start to go bald at puberty, which is a shame. That's awful. Like, you turn, well, a bit after puberty, I guess. But, like, Is that all you got? some people turn, like, 16 and start to go bald. <laughs> and it's just like, eee. God damn. I miss you, do. You learn all sorts of facts about me. <laughs> uh... 
badge. Yeah, yeah, that is like at that point, there's nothing you can really do about it. Like if you're going, um, if you are going ball to that point, there's nothing you can do. Like, you, I guess you could get hit hair implants, but like hair implants still will go. Your body still has to maintain them. Um. So yeah, you kind of just got to deal with it then, which is which sucks, honestly. I. Oh fuck. I'm going to bleed to death. Um, which is unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At, at that point, it, I think it is best. Like, if you're trying to hold on to the little scraps, you might as well just shave it off. You can get um, it de again. It depends who you go to. Like, I've seen a lot of um horror stories when it comes to um uh, hair transplants and stuff. They sometimes look real bad, like really bad. But other times, you can't tell. And it all depends who they go to. And of course, you got to fork out so much money for it. <laughs> yeah, you could have some fun with it, I think. You get it all, um, all different weirds. You do like, you could pull up with like a mohawk one day. I think that'd be pretty freaking cool. But yeah, I'm just trying a new style. And then pull up with like the. Um, there's massive like plats that just go down to the to the tippy to your to your feet sort of thing. Is there a way I can get I need to get in get my stuff. I need a mace. If we can get a mace, this will be a piece of cake. What are you doing here? Tired of life, are you? <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Here we go, one on one. And he has a war hammer. Ooh. We just gotta get through here. Which might not be too bad. If we can get that war hammer, we will be fine. Trying to get that. We have to smack him on the head over and over again. Um, until he gets, goes unconscious. Which may take a while. Armandor? Yeah, Armandor was really good. Uh, same with, I think it's argan oil too. Really good. I bet your hair smells amazing too <laughs> with almond oil. You fucked up there. I know coconut oil does, which coconut oil you can cook with, but I don't know. I don't know about normal cooking oil. But coconut oil is one of those things you can use for everything. I'm just going to smack him enough where he... This is going to take a while. Yeah, I need to I need him over here. here I can give it a try. <laughs> Probably be a lot cheaper than buying any like hair oil too. If, if cooking oil's fine. Uh, 
Come on, fuck's sake. Maybe we'll be lucky and he'll have a lockpick as well. That'd be very nice. Come on. I go unconscious if someone sneezes at me. There we go. Fuck me. Oh, a lockpick. <gasps> Hallelujah. See, the thing with the freaking coconut oil is every couple of years they go, oh no, coconut oil is not good for you. Don't stop using it. Never do it. And then a couple of years after that, they're like, coconut oil is literally the best thing ever. It will cure everything. And it's like, okay, but what about that stuff you said a couple of years ago? And then they're like, no, don't, no, it's, don't, don't worry about that. It's fine. Coconut oil is the best thing ever. And then a couple of years after that, they're like, coconut cancer, uh, coconut oil will cause cancer. It's like, what? The, what are you doing here? What the? Make up your fucking mind. <sighs> well, hey, if it's cheap, go for it. Um. Anybody? In? Cheap stuff is honestly the best. <laughs> if you can get like hair products for cheap. Oof. Can't fork this up. Oh, there we go. There's all of our stuff. We're going to drop all of this crap. And we're going to tear through this camp like nobody's business. That. Rip our mace. I think the mace is probably going to be more useful at the moment. Tough one. Oh, we do, yeah. If anyone touches that, we instantly get knocked out. Be nice if everyone else had that, but I think it might be an us only thing. It's because we're a robot. After all that hard work, we're going to save it. We've got so many save potions. Let's, let's kill some people. Also, I need some health. Uh. In the wrong place at the rock. Oh my, look at the difference. One hit and he's dead. Oh, freaking owned. <laughs> That's true, yeah. It's, you know, that like it always bothers me in movies where, like, I mean, it doesn't bother me enough to stop watching. Like, you're watching a movie with guns in it. Nine times out of ten, the main character is going to get smacked in the face with, like, the butt of a gun and be knocked unconscious. And it's like, for some reason, oh, he's just unconscious. Um, it's like the universal off button. <laughs> Where in, in reality, it would probably break your nose and cause some sort of brain um, issue. But instead, it's just like getting smacked in the face over and over again by like a pretty decently heavy metal thing. Just and they wake up like, oh, oh, my head, oh, I have a bump on my head. It's like, no, that part of your brain is now like being pressed by the bones that are broken. Oh man, the the equipment maketh the man. Turns out, I'm a freaking goober without my my equipment. What a 
have we got here? I'm going to enjoy this. Here we go. Hey Avery, how you doing? Maybe you can't walk it off yet. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you could. You're, you're tough, Juliet. I'm pretty sure you could. I have an off button. <laughs> wow. Some say that it's... Uh, Six inches from the entrance. <laughs> That's the scum. Or that might be the on button. Hey, -o. if you know, you know. I'm not going to explain that. If you don't know, because it's embarrassing. I'll get. I'll go red. There's not really that many people in here. Considering this is supposed to be like the enemy war camp. Oh, here we go. Here's another. Well, I uh, the pig turns up with. Would you call me? Fucking ah. hell! Ah. I wonder if I get something special for killing everyone in the camp. I think I could probably do that. Ow. You call that combat? Family friendly. <laughs> it is. As long as the family doesn't include kids. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sadness. Oh, no. I don't want to be sad. Why? What's happened? <laughs> oh, no. It's okay, uh, Avery. Memes are forever. Someone, someone will get them. What is happening? Right? What am I caught on? Oh, piece of oh my god! I don't know why I did that stuff. Although it's not surprising. I am going to make you eat that axe. Little fuck of whatever just happened. No, you don't. That's the that's how we get out right there. That broken bit of fence, but I'm going to walk out the freaking front door like a mother flipping badass. Hey, you're in the wrong. What's the matter? Lost your balls. You call that really? That's like that. Is that a dead meme already? Man, 
What, who are you, were they like 12 years old if you're playing with them? Who doesn't get... Oh god, no. What does the fox say? I remember that being all over school for fucking too, too long. Maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing people forgot that one. <laughs> Anyone left? This place is. Who's oh, there? My... Answer to my prayers just when I wanted to vent my rage on someone. To hell with you. <coughs> what are you, a fucking anime character? What the I'm behind. Someone's behind me. <laughs> I like that they put it into writing. <laughs> what is... Oh my god, I'm losing stamina like crazy. Oh. Oh, there's people outside the main gate, too. <laughs> what we got here? Is that the best you can do? Oh, there's someone behind me as well. Fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Get the fuck off me. This to go quickly, quickly, quickly. Lazarus potion. <laughs> right now. What the fuck? Is this real? Please don't tell me that's a real thing. I might cry. I don't, I don't want that. I don't think anybody wants that. Maybe some people do. I don't want to cry though. I think. What are you doing? Oh wow, this camp is actually massive. Maybe I should have like waited until. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> What's You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Oh, fuck. I'm quite a few of them. You're dead. Yeah. Oh. Bring it on. Oh, I love it when it's a one hit. What happened to this guy? He just died. That's real. Oh, God. Oh, 
shit, where did he come from? This mace is like the best weapon in the entire fucking game. That's ridiculous. Why is it real? <laughs> uh. I need some armor's kits when we get home. Well, shit. Hopefully our armor doesn't break while we're doing it. You have an armorous kit? I don't think they do. They never do. The knights do. Well, I really hope this isn't all wasted effort. It's very satisfying to just go through and kill them, but... It probably will be wasted effort. Let's not kid ourselves. Oh my god, there's a lot of archers here. <laughs> it was only a matter of time, let's be honest. There's an isekai for everything else, so... Oh my god, we're, we really did end up going through the front gates. I guess he was just not aware of anything happening, that's... <laughs> well, KFC made a fucking um, What's going on there? dating sim, right? You're in the wrong. Oh, you all get what for? Wait, they made a Netflix show? What? I I miss that. I miss that part. Oh, there's some more people. Well, oh my god. Look what's come crawling out. Why though? <laughs> Jesus. Don't they make chicken? <laughs> what's the matter? Oh, I don't want to glitch into the fucking fence.
Those dings. <laughs> uh, well, hey. I'm sure there's some people out there who genuinely wanted a, a Curdle Sanders dating sim. A recipe for seduction. Ugh, even the name just made me throw up in my mouth a little bit. That's weird. Never had that happen before. Alright, that's everyone. I can't be bothered to kill anyone else, so... Oh, I can't even get out the front gate. Good. I fucking love this. I guess they didn't think anyone would, like, go through and kill everyone. Even though it's like the only obvious answer, are you? F I have to go. Th oh. I swear to God, if we escape and he's like, and <laughs> what's his name? Henry's like, oh, I barely escaped with my life. Hey, bro, you killed everyone. It's fine. Be good. Mario Lopez, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, that's awful. Anyone playing Colonel Sanders is awful. Wait, that's a McDonald's film? I didn't... I thought that was just like a shitty movie from... Chinese. There's a McDonald's. I had explained so much. Oh wow. Uh, go meet with Zbishik. I'm gonna kill him. You know, just for, um... Because I can. I have to look this up. Why on earth would uh, a McDonald's movie have a kid in a wheelchair flying off a cliff? Mac and me. Oh, of course it was. <laughs> of course it was. <laughs> Mac and me. Wolf, what a terrible name. Gotta stuff that McDonald's branding in there somehow. Oh my god. Wait, I think I might I've not seen it, but I know so, we're out. Don't worry, I keep my word. Fine. And you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bath. A horse. Oh, he took off all my armor. <laughs> I guess you can't kill him. Probably part of the quest somehow. Back at me. Any word about your boy, Radzik? Nothing yet. Let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Oh my Surprise god. Surprise me given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. <laughs> Let's start, Hanush. That thing. That hideous... I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> this fellow... Henry. Father. <laughs> I told you he had balls. <laughs> well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. Looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranik. Hmm. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money. Ah, uh, yes, it's the, the foreigners. 
<laughs> of course it is. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly, and you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. I killed it's everyone in it, though. I'm not going to mention that. A timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rebel of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Gibbish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry, I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranig tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. <laughs> what is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he? Um... Fuck it. Zbyshek is a mill hand from Skalitz. When I went back there, I found him robbing the dead and he called his bandit mates on me. It was his fault they nearly killed me. He joined Toth's men. And now he thinks that just because he helped me once, everything he did will be forgiven. He's expecting to get paid. But he's sorely mistaken. He's a traitor and a murderer who deserves to hang. Damn. That's forbidden. Swine. You fucking swine. This is what I get for sticking out my neck for you. I'll kill you, you cunt. Henry, I must say I'm a little confused. You go, you bastard. I'm innocent. I saved this fucker's life. You scum. Well, then lock him up. You'll pay for this. My lord will slaughter you all like sheep. You have stand a chance in hell. Leave me alone. Let me go, you fucker. Let's make an example of him. Put anyone else off the idea of banditry. I'll tell the executioner. Well, that's not exactly how the law works. <laughs> how does the law work? Not very well from what I've seen. And I'm not wasting food on criminals while we try to find someone to try them. Besides, it would be good to show the common folk that we're taking action. True enough. Damn. <laughs> Every <sector. laughs> uh, Good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry, Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later, we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son. Oh, it's so uh, so awkward. I mean, it's it was even the first time when I played this, <laughs> it was pretty obvious. There's a there's a a point where he slips up and calls his son and sort of plays it. You know. Unfortunately, the voice acting is not good enough to kind of play off a lot of the subtlety. Um. Okay. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. God, I hope not. <laughs> Awful. We got work to do. Uh, so get up and get going to Tallenberg as soon as possible. You Can I ask? Thank you.
Um, yeah, it's just like. Okay, I'm just gonna go repair my stuff, man. I can't let that happen. Um, it's very strange that a lord would go out of his way to sort of help Henry. It's kind of like a peasant. So it's not the most well-hidden secret, but... Is it too... I need to repair my armor and stuff. Or not. <clears throat> yes, uh, that's not happening. All right, never mind. If the words, okay, daddy, <laughs> come out of anyone's mouth in this game, I think I would die of cringe. What is happening right now? Excuse me. <laughs> That's a little, oh God, could you? No, thank you. If it went like that the entire way, I, I would I would just stop. <laughs> that would be the end. Be, go be going absolutely insane because he won't speed up. <laughs> oh, I would hate it. It wouldn't surprise me. This game has so many weird little bugs. Uh, I don't think there's anyone here who can repair our stuff. Uh, the eel. Um, Sir, I no, I would never. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it was a completely innocent guy. <laughs> I take it you've heard. What does your father want from me? I found out who's behind all the unrest in the region, and father and Hanush have decided to put an end to it all. What? So who is responsible for all of Oh, you have to fucking explain it again. Lesson, Istvan Toth. No. I haven't met him, but Sir Radzik said he'd been here to visit before, before the raid. I don't suppose that's a coincidence. What kind of man is he? What is he after? He's in the service. Careful, buddy. Don't put too much emotion into it. Fuck me. Tonight. This is mad. Maybe it is, but I fear that. Very well, sir. Will you be coming? Yes, sir. I have some scores to settle with them. No, it doesn't. Works for everything else, but fuck me. But explain everything seventeen times. That's loud. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? 
I looked so suave before. They put me in that goop. Doesn't really look like that many people. Well, well, Tibish. I see you don't want to miss the show. You didn't expect me to. See, that's cool armor. I want that. I want what Divish is wearing. What news? Did you parley with them? We did. And what was the outcome? Not quite what we hoped for. Radzi wanted to go parley with them in person. Fortunately, I talked him out of it. It seems that this will not be resolved without a battle. Bloody good thing too. Finally, we'll have some proper entertainment in the. Country. It was very yeah. It was cool. Fortunately, my son here showed immense daring and made his way into the lion's den to spy on them. Tell us what you saw, lad. I want Divish's armor so bad. It looks so much better than anything you can get. I hate that. What do you want to know exactly? Well, let's start with how well fortified they are. Oh, look at us. The outer palisade goes right around the whole camp. On a small hill inside it, there's a half-demolished farmhouse that's ringed by another palisade. That's where I was held prisoner. And that's where Toth's based. Him and his inner circle. Can you tell us how many tents there are and how they're arranged? There might be fifty, maybe three score. Most of them in the right-hand side of the camp. And the men? How many men strong are they? Quite a few. At least 80. Huh. We don't number much more than that ourselves. We do outnumber them, though. Even if only by a few men. <laughs> and our men are well armed and disciplined. The foe, nothing but a rabble. From what I've seen, it's best to attack from our direction. How does it look from the other side? The east side is all rocks, so no hope of launching a major assault from there. On the other hand, that's the way I escaped. It's where they throw all their waste. The heap's already so high, it's almost to the top of the palisade. Yuck. Now that is interesting. The ramparts are long. If there are as many of them as we think, they can hardly keep watch over the entire length. Attack with full force at the gate, and they won't have enough men at the rear. That's an excellent strategy. But then I'd expect no less from you. If we cause an enormous uproar at the same time, they won't know what's hit them. Uproar? You said they have tents there? Yes, sir. Well, if I'm not mistaken, tents usually burn rather well. <laughs> and they have quite a few archers. <laughs> you don't do things by halves, Divish. So, I believe we have a plan. Robard will take ten men and sneak to the rear of the fortifications. There's an entry point, but you must remain hidden. I will do my best, sir. That shouldn't be too hard. They'll have other things to worry about. The rest of us will launch a frontal assault. Rain burning arrows on them and then attack. Those bastards won't know which way to turn. At that point, Robard and his squad will strike from the rear. I think it's a good plan. Of course he does. He came up with it. Wipe those horse sounds off the face of the earth. <laughs> I love how they put everyone in really majestic armor and then they gave us like the shitty pleb armor <laughs> for our part in the cutscene. Oh, it's garbage. They keep sh um, regrowing Listen my hair. We are about to meet the rabble that have been trying to <laughs> pillaging, killing, raping, and generally being a thorn in our side for long enough. They may be hiding behind a stockade, but they are still a pack of curs who are no match for men like you. And tonight, we are going to festoon these trees with corpses. First, we will set fire to their little hornet's nest. Then we'll keep them busy by the gate. And when we've made it nice and hot for them, Sir Robard and his men will pounce on them from the rear. And we will hack them to pieces. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Good. <laughs> yes, violence. <laughs> My favorite. And the men with the battering ram. 
Any of these fuckers foolish enough to stick his head outside the stockade is to lose it at once. Understood? Yes, sir! Glad to hear it. Now, let's do it. Forward! I like that we're doing this at night time so we can't see anything. <sighs> I think I got my mace equipped, right? I'm gonna mash some oh god. Mash some brains in. How's their armor looking actually? Ah, uh, we'll be fine. Just really dirty. Georgia. Knock, knock, other choppers. Um, but right, I was gonna like it's so similar to Mountain Blade. Mountain Mountain Blade's a little bit better though. Right, am I? <laughs> yeah, that tracks. <laughs> you gotta find the humor in these in these uh tense moments. Go with the man and flush out anyone left around the tents where they don't creep up on us from behind. You men, over there, go with it. Rest of you, warm up and go to the top. I know, right? So intense. <laughs> yeah, for a second it was. For a second, and then it just kind of went. Sounds like everyone else is having every intense time, but this is like normal at this point. Like we're fighting so many people at once all the time now. It's still cool though. I don't mind it. And it's nice fighting with people, like other people on our side. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, Henry and Dubois. <laughs> Killing so many people. You're in places and being cool and stuff and things and whatever. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. I like that. It really is. The ma the mace is so good. It kind of makes me wonder why you would use anything else. Like, I I prefer swords because they look cooler, but the mace is so insanely effective. Can I have your armor. I would I I'll kill you and peel it off. That's so cool. His armor. Yep. Honestly, if you don't like the combat or you can't get good, like decent at it, don't. It's not. It's, the story is very okay. Very okay. Uh, I like the combat. That's kind of why we stuck with it so far. But it's kind of the only thing, honestly. Oh, hello. <laughs> I wonder if they actually put 80 people. 80 people doesn't sound like a lot. Where's that Hungarian bastard? Why isn't he here? Don't tell me no one was in command. Uh oh. That way, Henry, where's Top? You said he was here. He definitely was, sir. I've got the cuts and bruises to show for it. You have to find out where he slithered off to. Look for clues. Anything that will tell us what he's doing. Probably a diversion. I can't actually remember because a long time ago when I played this. I think it's probably a diversion. That makes sense, tactically. Note. Done right. Yeah, two days. It was two days, so there's plenty of time to um, do something else, especially when you find out the prisoner that you told everything to escaped. <laughs> so, you know. A monk's got no business out there. Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, lad? Ugh. Oh my god, they're like a bunch of fucking parrots. Uh, did I miss something? <laughs> it's gotta be something in. Oh, here we go. Nope. Is there real? A monk's got no business out. There's a chest right there, which kind of makes me. But I can't get. I can't even go off the path. It's like a fucking invisible wall here. Sir, I need to get out. Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, you heard lad? Of Aren't you meant to be in the monastery, no. lad? A monk's got no business out here. What happened to your lad? Well, I never 
What the fuck? Where was I, like, held captive? Okay, I'm looking this up. Uh... Yeah, sure. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Desk, me, Eric. I shouldn't be, but... Oh, there we go. I'm feeling kind of weed all day. Maybe I didn't sleep very well. What are you doing here? You're oh, this is the next person who mentions my robes, I might have to murder. Where is Hanush? Hello? Oh, there he is. So this was all I could find. A letter? What does it say, Ratzig? Oh, can Alongside you not read? Hunting, drinking, and sword play, you might find time for a little study, old man. In the courts of Prague, every Tom, Dick, and Harry can read nowadays. Yes, well, here in the countryside, we don't give a tinker's curse about such things. Huh. That's what I've got a scribe for, anyway. What does the damn thing say? It appears to be written by Toth, but it doesn't say to whom. It says, everything is going according to plan, and the castle should soon be taken. Castle? What castle? What does he need a castle for? Sir. We took this one alive. And it seems he's not just some ordinary spear carrier. Where's that rat tot? Where did he go? Speak, damn you! Uh, he's thwarted you again, hasn't he? <laughs> if you play your cards right, you might come out of this in one piece. Where is your lord? He was here yesterday, wasn't he? Come now, sir. We both know where I will end up. <laughs> My lord is gone. He took most of the men and left. Where is he gone? What is he planning? He writes here about taking some castle. Which castle? <laughs> oh, some nearby castle. Left completely unguarded. Now I wonder where it could be. What are you saying, you horse son? Townberg. Did he go to Townberg? <laughs> You'll never get him. You'll never get. What? We are planning on sending him to some monastery to become a monk. <laughs> I believe we have some work to do, Sir Dibbish, do we not? Mount up, gentlemen. We don't have any time to waste. Well, seeing as how this is pretty much... I'll see how much is left, because if there's only a little bit left, we'll get going. Oh, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we, you tricked us. We were ambushed. We need assistance. We have wounded men here. Open the gate. Lady Stephanie, I, I really don't think we should... My lady. Master man! Come on, Master! My men are gravely wounded. 
Without treatment, I'm afraid they won't live to see morning. Not to worry. We'll take care of them. My lady, you have my uttermost gratitude. May God reward you for your kind service. Every Christian should help his neighbor in his hour of need. True. Especially now, when treachery and deception surround us on all sides. Get out of the way! The devil lurks in the shadows. Come on! And one fears taking a guest into his house. Who is this? Also, hang on, I have to do my Duolingo. <laughs> it's almost finished. I mean, it's almost... All right, we'll just push through and finish off this, and then, uh, yeah, done. Lift the portcullis. Oops, I just hit that guy. <laughs> It's okay. It's like, I think it's only pretty much only this mission and a few other bits and pieces which we can come back to later. Um, but I took like three or four paracetamols and some ibuprofen, so I'm good for now at least. How do I raise it? Do I have to like. Get up there somehow. Oh yeah. Here we go. What the fuck? He just popped out of there. Oh, 
Here we go. Oh, that's unfortunate. Come out, you rat! Come out and fight like a man! <laughs> I don't think so. I like it better right here. Would you rather hide behind my wife like some mangy whelp? I could just uh, yeah, we can finally see. I have hostages enough, and strong walls to protect me. Bring him here. Radzig? What do you want, you viper? <laughs> Let me think. Hmm. Actually, there's nothing I want from you. Except maybe to see you all die. Fire! Burn it down! Oh, I think my eye, I roll my eyes so hard then they almost popped out. All that plate armor. <laughs> and an, a, like a, just a shitty archer from nowhere. Ugh. Not from nowhere, from like two seconds. Oh, you poor bastard. Uh, are you alright? Pathetic. Oh, oh. Well, I don't think I'll be wielding a sword for a while. Oh, we have men enough for sword wielding. A good lord is harder to come by. How the hell did they get Radzik? I didn't make it to the gate. He was charging against reinforcements from the castle. We have to save Sir Rad my father, somehow. And we have to save my wife and get our home back. My friend, I think you know as well as I, we have to lay siege. No. No, that is our last resort. We have to try all our other options. Think so? We did, so, yeah. If a few men could scale the western wall after dark, maybe they could get inside, free the hostages, and open the gate. That is, if they're holding them in the courtyard, as we've always done. That's a big if. What if they're seen and they can't raise the portcullis quietly? Sir Hanish, if we can save just one hostage. It's a perilous undertaking. Who would you send? I'll go. Then let us make ready. It's just like they, they just keeps going. It just keeps going. And 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 going. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, okay, so this is like I'd better get ready for the night raid. Some light clothing would be best. Dark colours. Uh a habit will do. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothes. Yes. Good luck then. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. We don't need another heroic fucking speech. Good well. grief. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. Oh, there's Hans Kamel. Where'd he come from? To deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? 
kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. And what if they're in their tower or, or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. Yeah, it's bringing down my fucking morale, I'll tell you that much. Alarm. Before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood. And leave them there. Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon. That's true, yeah. In this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. How are we going to climb it? Like, is it... Most people can't just scale a fucking vertical wall. Oh, ladder. I thought we were going to be more stealthy than that. <laughs> I'm a silent but deadly assassin monk. How is my stealth? I think I have a potion that makes our stealth better. And by five for ten. Yeah, sure. Save when we get to. I can't, I can't, because my hood's in the way. Fuck this waiting at nine o'clock. Who are you? Watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. But who? Henry, then. Just make sure you keep quiet. Now yeah, we'll save. Uh, why can't I save? I'm not out of save your snaps. Copy from cheesing it, I guess. Oh, that's convenient. They're looking the exact opposite way. Fuck. Fuck. The alarm's been... Why would they leave, like, one of the, if not the last mission, to be a stealth mission, which is the worst part of this entire game? Fucking believable. We're gonna try once more, but if we don't get it, um, we're done for tonight. We'll finish this off another time. I am pretty done with the game. <laughs> we'll go first and take out oh, I gotta wait for the. Why? And this is like the only mission where they don't let you save in the middle of it.
Yeah, you just go off it. I guess is knocking people out quieter? Or... Well, I don't... I don't really know. Can I... I can't even save and quit. Foot potion again. To me, the muffled screaming probably would make more noise. Yeah, curve some PS. Oh, what are we doing now? get by anyways supposed to be following you or oh. uh oh I'm not wearing my dogs are out. I'm not wearing any shoes. Ew. Jesus, get a fucking move on, man.
Lucky no one was in there. Kind of missing some of the important ones. Stephanie. But Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's the... I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. Take care now. Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. And how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to... Yes. I can't leave them in Toff's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is mad. Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we save those other people. I told you, I'm... if you're determined to be a stubborn ox, go right ahead. I suppose you might as well look for your sword while you're at it. No point leaving a job half done. Save your speeches. If you want to get yourself killed, you can do it alone. But before you go raising bloody mayhem, give us time to get out of here. Let them go and just... Let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. Gorva! My ass. So it's a moot point. Lovely. Oops. <laughs> I'll have to carry him out of here right now. <laughs> he just fucking buckles Harry. over. Sorry to trouble you, but could you fucking do something quick? Run for Christ! If you don't get a move on, they'll stab you in the back right under my nose. Over here! Quick! Where is it? Behind us! Quick! They're behind you. They're in front of me, and I can't do anything. This isn't the right. You can still walk. Too well. True. The shame of it. Well, I wouldn't go. If pigs had wings, I know it. So is that how it's supposed to go? Because I don't. I'm not really sure. It seems, Robard, that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. And we can't afford to lose any more. We can only take Talmburg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed, and we don't have superior numbers. Then we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. To demolish my own walls. <sighs> Where is Master Faithar? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon Bring as... him to me. Let's not waste time. Sir Divi. You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, uh, a trebuchet, my lord. That's not entirely in my field of expertise. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir. I understand and that. you but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Oh, well, thank you, my lord. But it's it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's, this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Um, I... <sighs> oh. Well, Master Tobias... You have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. <laughs> Indeed. Of course, sir. 
Thank you, my lord. How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Hmm. No, you don't. Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations in the encampments. Gladly, sir. Hmm. Robard will brief you. That'll be all. I feel like you could just set fire to the tops of the castle. It's all wood. I learned combat technique, did I? Oh. <laughs> what needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mask. A monk has got no business when you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. They're moaning, they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. We've got dead. We'd... The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all... What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Jivish was saying to... I heard some of it. And what did you make? He said he'd never built a trebuchet. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until judgment... I'll try to ask... You should definitely do that. Take care. Uh, right. The Lord be praised. Fuck me. Alright, we're gonna have to leave this. I thought this was gonna be... I... That's very loud. I thought this was gonna be a quick finish. Like, last mission and finish, but it's not. We're gonna have to finish. Some other time. It is cooler, but it's a lot more destructive. I guess he doesn't want to break his precious castle, which, to be fair, if I had a castle, I wouldn't want to break it either. <laughs> but, can't be true. Um, yeah, we might play this tomorrow just to finish it off and then we can get back to Deus Ex and, um, Overlord and whatever else is next. No worries, Julie. Thank you. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> I appreciate it. Sorry I got so grumpy. Um, thanks for watching. For the rest of your day or night. Whatever it is, stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow. Finally finish this and move on to something else. So, uh, hey. Bye-bye. <laughs>